Well, today is graduation day for a group of Detroit teenagers who are learning the real meaning of horsepower. Paula Tubman takes us along for the ride as the students show their stuff and say goodbye for now, I should say, to their mounts. Paula. So obviously Detroit is known for horsepower, but this is the real deal. And if you think this is no big deal, teaching kids how to handle horses or have equestrian skills, ask yourself this. When you were 15, did you understand the feeling of this kind of power? Did you really understand confidence? Did you understand what it was like to feel privileged? If that answer is yes, consider yourself lucky. This great Detroit comeback story has not touched every corner and every street. Ask 16-year-old Alexis, who still lives in a hard place in the city. See where I live, you know, it's kind of crazy. But every week she feels free and safe, perched atop 1,200 pounds of horsepower. For four years, she's been a student with Detroit Horsepower, a nonprofit that brings urban kids to the country to learn values straight from the horse's mouth. Horses can be powerful. Uh, teachers of valuable character traits. We focus on five core skills, confidence, perseverance, empathy, self-control, and responsible risk-taking that traditionally horses have taught the most privileged in our society because it's not available to kids growing up in the inner city who can't afford or can't get to where the horses are. Alexa says she can't trust all of the humans around her, but she can trust Tanner. You, you can tell any human anything, and they, they have their feedback on how they feel. Horses, they, they like a diary, too. You can tell them anything, and they listen. Corey, too. I feel good and confident. Go around the bucket. So make a circle around the bucket. When I first met this one, I'm like, I got kind of scared. Like, my heart was like, I'm like, dang. And then once I got to get to know it, like, you know, you walk it around first. So when I got to get to know it, it was awesome. Like, I love it. That's going to keep you balanced. Toes up, heels down. Come on, King, you got it. It improved me because I have more knowledge. Then I didn't have knowledge. Now I do. The students meet in the city, minus the horses, to learn. Then on the weekends, they put what they've learned to work. They learn grooming, etiquette, different styles of riding. And they get to tap deep down into themselves to find courage, patience, ooh, ooh, ooh. and personal power. Come on, man, you gotta keep them going. In ways they never knew was possible because you just don't have horses in the city of Detroit. Good job, good job. I wish I could go out and sit outside like this and just come out my house and walk. It's just sit. So imagine this kind of facility inside the city of Detroit that makes this more accessible. Well, that's kind of the next phase. Check out Detroit Horsepower on our social media platforms for more information. That's high, bro. Cause you killed it. Yeah. Killed Paula it. Tutman, local four. What a great experience. Thank you, Paula. Detroit Horsepower is navigating with Detroit to find a plot of property to bring an equestrian facility into the city. As Paula mentioned, we put a link to the organization on our social media platform so you can learn more about this very cool project.